In this video, we will be using an Arduino Mega and a micro SD card reader to read and write to an EEPROM. The SD card will store what we read and what we write to the EEPROM. For this project, we will need an Arduino Mega, a micro SD card reader, an SD card, an EEPROM, a bunch of opto couplers and a DC DC converter. Also, some transistors. The first thing we need is a code to read and write to a SD card from an Arduino. Going to the official website, we quickly find what we need. Since we will need a lot of pins to communicate with the EPROM, we will use an Arduino Mega which uses the pins 50 for the SCK, 51 for MOSI and 52 for MISO. In the tutorial section there's already a code that can help us. For the sake of testing we divide the code first to write, which is a success, then to read which works just as intended as well. With the SD card fully working without any difficulty, let's go on and start working with the EPROM. We will use three ports from the Arduino Mega, one for reading and writing data. We will choose port A, that goes from pins 22 to 29, and port L and port C, which go from pin 49 to 42, and 37 to 30. These ones will be for writing the address. Port L will be the least significant byte of the address and port C the most significant byte. First we will try to read the EPROM and write what we read to the SD card. We will define pin 7 of Arduino Mega as output enable, pin 8 as chip enable and pin 9 as VPP. All these pins will be outputs. Output enable and chip enable start with a high value. For code simplicity and efficiency we will configure the ports as a whole. All of them are configured as outputs to start and for that we write DDR, followed with the port letter, so DDR A, DDR L and DDR C. And we will write the X value of FF, which configures them as outputs. Next, we write port A, port C, port L and assign the value FF as well, putting all pins at I. We will use the serial monitor to send commands to the Arduino, so we can use a single code to perform several tasks. We will use the letter D as a command to delete the file, so we can keep it clean. With the letter R, we will tell Arduino to read the EPROM and write to the ST. To read the EPROM, we will have to reconfigure the port A as input. For that, we assign the value 0 to DDR A. To start from the beginning of the EPROM, we will write the value 0 as well to port C and port L. We remove the old file so we have a clean file to write to and create a while loop that ends when the variable address that we are incrementing reaches the size of the EPROM. Since we have two ports to write to, we need to make a shift operation. We write the result to the address ports, 
Then we have to write a low value to ship enable, followed by a low value to output enable. And only then do we assign the values that are in port A to our variable port data. To read the port as a whole, we write pin A. Finally, we write ship enable, followed by output enable and write what we read with pin A to the SD card. We increment our address variable and continue. After reading the PROM and writing to the SD card, we will compare it with what we read with a classic programmer and it's the same. The next step will be writing to the EEPROM. For that, we need to erase it first. If we don't have anything to shine UV light on it, we can use the sun. Here, we will store what is written in a 4497 EEPROM in a programmer RAM. Then, we will copy it to the EEPROM we are using. Afterwards, we will erase it again and try with Arduino. As a safety method, we will cover the window of the EEPROM to protect the integrity of its data. When they are finally erased, we can start writing in them. This graph shows the steps we must fulfill to be able to write. Since we need to deliver 12.5 volts to this EEPROM to write in it, we will create a safety circuit. The optocouplers will isolate the Arduino from the tension of the VPP. The two transistors will create an independent mesh for the control of the VPP. We also put some LEDs in the circuit to be able to see the pins changing state. To write to the EEPROM, we will save our data to the SD card. We will change the state of TDRA to output. Open the file with file read, VPP goes to I, as well as output enable. The cycle starts as before, but this time we will read our file to our port data and write port data to port A. Chip enable needs to go to low, then to high again. Time to compare again what is in the SD card and what we have written in the EEPROM. Hopefully it's the same. We have also written code to get the checksum and get the signature of the device.